the legend of the phoenix. Okay, year eight, thank you for settling so quietly. You've got pairs of threes, and then we're going to get started with the main task. This is just a prerequisite activity to get your number skills thinking, get your decimals thinking. I don't mind if you split the cards in half and do one set each, or if you want one person calculating, one person finding, or if you want one person calculating, one person checking, one person finding. I don't mind, but I want you to agree in your pairs and threes very quickly as to how you're going to work this out, okay? You've now got 10 minutes, 15 seconds. I want everybody finished in 10. Off you go. Yes. Put your pens down um, and face this way for me in three. Um, thank you, tie down to your table. Um, I'm facing this way, girls. Sorry, this is. On the board, we were, we're going to follow on from what we were doing yesterday in terms of our functional skills questions, okay? So I, I was really impressed by how the different groups attacked and tackled their questions, but I want to have a bit more of a um, systematic way, a bit more of a rigorous way of answering the questions that you get given. So when you do your GCSE, uh, girls can have the pens down please. When you do your GCSE functional questions, you're going to be assessed for the quality of your written communication, okay? So I need to make sure that today we focus on um, how we present our work. There's a question on the board. Um, Katie, can you read that question for me? Wide scale. The scale is 3.6 meters long and 3.6 meters width. Each rubber mat is 1.8 meters long and 1.2 meters wide. Sarah orders the rubber mats online. The rubber mats cost 45 pounds each. There is a total delivery charge of 80 pounds. How much will Sarah have to pay? So what I'm going to ask you to do in your groups is the following. I'm going to give you 10 minutes to answer the question. Okay? But rather than the way we did it yesterday, which is okay, we're going to use two pieces of paper. One for our working out, and I want you to be as messy as you can with the working out paper. And I want you to nominate one person in your group to do the working out on paper. And we're going to have another piece of paper, which is our final answer. And our final answer we need to lay out as clearly as we can. So before you start writing anything on the final answer sheet, you need to agree as a group exactly how you're going to lay your answer out and what it's going to look like. I'm going to put 10 minutes on the board and I want you to use that 10 minutes to discuss how to answer the question, do any working out on some scrap piece of paper and lay your answer out neatly for a final presentation and we're going to look at those in a bit. Does any group not understand exactly what it is you have to do? Okay, I'm going to put some minute, time, 10 minutes on the board, and then I'm going to 
take away your triangles because we're going to move on from activity, okay? So I want you to start discussing for me how to answer the question on the board. Off you go. tell you that the answer is £288. Oh, wow. Of course that was. To each person in the team that can tell me exactly how we get to £288. Okay, you've got another four and a half minutes. If you can get there, that's what I want to see. Wow. I want nice and smoky now. So we did it. So, top three tips for successful group work. Firstly would be making sure that everyone has a role, um, being really explicit about exactly what it is you want. Um, the second thing, I guess, would be to create buy for students uh, by making sure that the task is enjoyable and that you're showing everyone that they've got a good understanding of it and giving hints in the right places. Um, and the third thing, I think, is just to make sure it's, it's fun um, and that they've all got something more stimulative to be doing. <laughs> Because I wasn't massively impressed with a lot of your layout of your um, question, I put my layout of that question on the board. What I want you to do is put your name on the top of the post-it note, and I want you to tell me one thing that makes that layout really easy for an examiner to look at. So what is good about that layout? It might be a whole number of different things that you think, but think of one thing that's good for that layout. Legend of the Phoenix